And so it is. It comes down to the final two games of the season for us to realise whether we will be relegated or not. Welcome to the Sicilian Defence. <laughs> Welcome to episode 40 of the Sicilian Defence. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have two games, the final two games of our Serie A season at home to Lazio and away to Genoa and they are two games as you will see from the table above they are two games that will uh, decide whether we are relegated or not this season. Um, I've left this screen up purely before we have a look at what's happened since you were last with us purely to show you that um, the other teams that are around us as you'll see we have actually managed to get out of the relegation zone we are on equal points to Spezia and Florentina who are either side of us we are just sort of smack between them not quite sure the the the, the league in Italy works in a slightly different way because their their goal difference is actually worse than ours however I think it's something to do with the head-to-heads and we've lost or the two games against Spezia I'm not sure we've either lost one and drawn one or we've not beaten them anyway which is why they're in front of us because actually over two games they are better than us um, having said that we are better than Florentina so um, as it stands we're that's where we are so what we need to do is we need more points and Spezia to be above them um, and obviously Florentina as well so how is it looking? Um, I'm looking down here. Florentina are playing Sampdoria. And Sampdoria mid-table about 12th. And I'm thinking Spezia are playing tomorrow. Let's have a quick look. They are. They're playing Inter, who are third tomorrow. So that's one. We'll have to see how that pans out. So all we need to do is concentrate on today's game and potentially see if we can get that win how have we done since you were last with us you will see a change in tactics has actually worked wonders for us um lost three on the trot um i think Sassulio and bologna were the last games that you saw since then we bleed Florentina. we actually smacked them five goals to nil at home and then a 3-1 win at parma has put us in the position that you saw let's have a look at a closer look at the table in a bit more detail um, it does leave us. Crotone have been relegated 29 points. They can't get out of this uh, with six. Can they? Oh, no. They've, of course, they've played. They played yesterday. Um, they did win, but uh, they've not got. They've only got three points is the most they can get. They they have been relegated. Palmer, Florentina, Catania and Spezias. Four teams there that uh, could all get out of this space as it currently stands. Um, 37 points is uh, what Palmer could get if they win both their games. Um, we just need to win one, at least one of our two games uh, to stand a chance as it currently stands. Right, um, as you'll see, Lazio currently fourth. They have qualified for the European uh, Conference League. Um, obviously, we'll be looking to get into the Champions League, which I think is where they will end up if they finish in those uh, four positions. And as uh, Roma are breathing down their neck, they will want to win this without any shadow of a doubt. So it's not going to be an easy match at all. Right. Um, with that all said and done, I think it is time that we go over to um, have a look at the uh, the game or the team that is going to play Lazio. And this is the team that we are putting out against Lazio as it is, results have gone for us because uh, Palmer and uh, Florentina, who were below us in the relegation zone, have both lost, which means Palmer now can only get a maximum of 34 points and uh, Florentina on the same amount of points as us, but have played one game more now. So this does actually make um, a little bit more uh, urgency to actually get at least a point out of this, if not two, uh, will give us a little bit of headroom uh, going into the final game against a Genoa. A win would be absolutely splendid because that means that um, I think as it stands, the, the we could only equal the points 
um, should Florentina win their next game, uh, they would only get even, and we lost to Genoa, they, they would actually get equal points to us. But as it stands, um, with us on equal points, they are below us. So um, I'm working on the premise that unless something goes badly wrong, um, that a win today would actually secure us um, the, um, the fact that we're actually clear of the relegation zone and we survive. So let's see how we can do. Manelli is in goal. Best day. Baxvanos. Farah Bajoli is back. Pavlev in our defence. Ladanetti at the base of midfield with Fagioli and Sabri in front of him. Georgi and Clark are attacking midfield with Ravgalier up front. And on the bench today, we have De Favreo, Car Carante, Meta, Pecorino, Zappella, Bergerton, Bertagnoli, all the goodies are coming back. Ambrose, Albertini, Amasso, Georges, Nicotra, and Magazu. I'm not sure we've seen Nicotra before. Um, so that's how it is. Baxvanos is one uh, yellow card away from being suspended. So let's hope it, that doesn't happen today. Um, Georgi is lacking match sharpness. And there we are. We've seen that the stats and the chances to win. And uh, here we are. We're up and running in this fixture. As we get into the game. Whether home advantage will play any benefit to us, I don't know, but we can but try. In fact, just one other thing I'm going to do here is just want to see and act loosely at the moment. I don't know if that means Spezia aren't playing. Um, I think with the one point, obviously, we are, we have moved up the table slightly there. Need more than a point. Best day with a throw in. He gets to Ladanetti, backs Vanos, Farah Bajoli. Ladanetti to Sabri to Faro Bajoli. Backs Vanos. They are pushing us back a bit though. Sabri gets one out, tries to get over the top to Rav Gallier. Didn't get it over the top. And danger now ensues as they come forward. And he's got round his player. And this is dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. He's tucked it into the corner of the net. And we go a goal behind. And it's all going wrong. 21 minutes into the game. And we are a goal behind. And that was all because. I think it was Ladanetti tried to get the ball over the top to row for Gallier and didn't do it. And man, Minnelli's been beaten. Now, do we drop a bit of encouragement to the guys? Will that work? Encourage. I'm going to try it. Yeah, let's uh, pick them up a little bit. Because we've not done badly up till now. We've just given that goal away and need to be a little bit more smarter it may come down to the last game of the season let's hope it doesn't but that's what it might come down to half time arise we are that one goal behind um three shots one on target 0.27 they have come back into the game late in the second half which has put us under the gosh 43 percent possession they've had three shots two on target 0.29 we need to combat them somehow I'm going to try and find out what I can do at half time and we'll be right back with the second half. No changes at half time. I'm aware of Lazio get the second half underway and uh, we do need a goal. Best day. Oh, just over the top. I think that was Bax Vanos, but uh, didn't quite meet it right and unfortunately went behind. Uh, instruction there. Pavlev gets the throw in the clock, heads it back to Faro Bajoli. Faro Bajoli. Pavlev. Pavlev. Can he get the cross in? No. Sabri. Clark. Sabri. Back out of Pavlev. Maybe this time. No, he's back healed it to Sabri. Playing fancy stuff. What's going on here? Let's do that. And Pavlev gets it in. Clark has scored. He's squared it up. 14th goal of the season. Jack Clark just completed his um, 
language course, his intensive language course, and uh, Pavlov and Sabri playing till they found a gap with a little bit of luck as well. But Clark found the near post and tucked it away, beating Gabriel Brazo. Wagyu now. We need to win this ball back. We have Ladonetti, Ravgali out to Clark. Clark going to get his second. Oh, wow, that was a bit wild. Nowhere on target, that, unfortunately. 60 minutes gone. No, we're not going to take back Svanos off. What are you talking about, man? It's too important a game to do that. As we go into 70-odd minutes. Fagioli not having the best of games. Ravgali not up having the best of games up front either. Um, right, let's just have a Fagioli. I'm going to bring Bertoganoli on for him. Or do we leave him on? He's... Uh, it's one of those. Sabri is probably the one that's... Let's bring Bertoganoli on for Sabri. And I'm thinking Rov Gallier is not really playing. What about if we bring Jack Clark up front and we take Rov Gallier off for Ambrose? We're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. Oh, team talk. Pump fist. Make a difference. Both seem motivated. That's good. As we get 75 minutes in. Quick change around. Korea. All right. I have actually asked for marking to be done on them. I don't know about man marking. And they have a free kick. It's shot over the top. I thought they were going to score for a minute. And... Best day is tired. That could be our third change. Have we got anybody to come on for him though? This is it. Uh, Nikatra. It's only a one star left back. I'm not, I really don't fancy doing that. Not in the position that we're in. Ladanetti, defensive midfielder. Mater can play in defensive midfield. We'll put Mater in for Ladanetti. That's our change. Let's hope it does the job. 85 minutes gone. We really need to hang on to this if we can. We are into injury time. Do I drop a bit of praise? No. As temptation as it tempting as it is, a draw is fine. A draw we have got. And it's all down. Ambrose getting a yellow card towards the end there. And do you know what? We actually came back early in that second half and stayed in front of Lazio. We just, just held on. 10 shots, 4 on target, 1.01. 47% of the possession, so we didn't have the possession. But that goal from Jack Clark on 55 has really put us in the driving seat. Lazio, 10 shots, 5 on target. Bearing in mind they're fourth in the table, I think we have actually put them... We've done a really, really good job. Best day having the best of the performances there. Um, outstretched arms you've done really well and I think Jacques Clark proud of the equalising goal and the way you play which is demotiv demotivated him what do you do best day outstretched arms happy with your performance and Pavlev happy with your performance he's demotivated as well okay so be it so be it. Right, that leaves us. Uh, there was some bafflement amongst her that you didn't replace Fagioli, I know. But uh, I didn't have any options on the bench to change many things. I was a light. We are up to 16th. Uh, Spezia still have to play. If Spezia lose, then that does really give us that momentum, I think, going into this final game. It is between us and Florentina now. As we said, Florentina, we know... We could lose the next game and Florentina win, and they will pass us, of course. I'm not going to say. It's all down to the last game of the season. Ho, ho, ho. And so you come back and join us, not with the team that we're going to pick 
to play this final game of the season against Genoa, who are currently eighth in the table. But just to see how things have panned out, because uh, I think it's interesting just to note today's games, the teams that can still catch us, Florentina and Spezia. So Florentina are playing, they're at home to Torino. That's, uh, I don't know, I, I think you can pretty much say Florentina may well win that. Um, and Palmer, no, not Palmer, Spezia. Uh, Spezia, uh, they've got Cag uh, Cagliari, I can never pronounce that name, I haven't had all season. They're in ninth, just behind Genoa, so they've got a toughy game similar to us. Um, going back, Spezia did draw 1-1 with Inter, which means that they are on equal points with us going into this last game of the season, which means we just need to do better or equal to Spezia and Florentina. So if Spezia and Florentina draw and we draw, that's good enough. If we lose and they lose, that's also good enough. I think really our main worry is Florentina. So And they've got probably an easier game than uh, Spezia. So... We're on equal points to Spezia. We're above them on whatever it is. Um, and likewise for Florentine as it currently stands, if it all stays the same, if they both win and we lose, we get relegated. It is as simple as that. Right, we'll be back with the team that you are going to play against Genoa. And here is the team that we have picked to play against Genoa for this last game of the season. Manelli in goal, Best Day, Bax Van Os, Farah Bajoli and Pavlev are our defensive line. Ladanetti at the base of midfield, Fagioli, Mater comes in on the right-hand side as the Mazzala in that role. Sabri moving out to the left-hand wing um, on attack. Let's just check he's not better as an inside forward. He may well be, actually. In which case, we'll change him to an inside forward. What about Clark? He's about the same, I think. So we'll leave him as a winger. Um, Rov Gallier continues up front. Del Favrio, Zappella, Giorgi, Pecorino, Albertini, Bertoganoli, Ambrose, Carant Carante, Magazu, Georges, Nicotra, and Ambro um, Imaso are all on the bench. Um, so with that in mind, let's go through and see if we can get at least a draw, maybe a win. A win would be better, I think. And here we are for the final game. Genoa have not lost in five games, winning three, drawing two. But our current form is uh, lost two, won two, and drawn one. And that's how the table looks. We're in 16th at the moment, Genoa in eighth. Um... As we warm up for this match, the final match of the season, and we are underway. They have a throw in. Long ball. It's cleared by Best Day to Rav Gallia, who's come back. Back to Vanos finds Sabri. Sabri. He's been tackled, and the ball's given away, and they are on the counter, and this is dangerous. They go. On, they want to win this. Well, Pavlev, oof, double take there. Fabria Farabagoli clearing the ball. So far, so good. But that's gone out wide to Krasibor. And it's crossed in. Ah, Juan Pedro gets the goal. Ten minutes in, and we're behind. Good defensive work prior to that, but best day being shorter than Juan Pedro and how our Pedro just heads that beyond Manelli. If we were staying here for another season, a goalkeeper, better goalkeeper is a definite. Um, that is for sure. Looking at the bottom of the table again, we're still okay, I think, unless that hasn't emanated through yet. Right, um, we'll need to do a couple of things here. First things first, let's have a look at the opposition. Juan Pedro, we don't need to mark him tightly. We need to tackle him hard. Um, and I would even go as far as saying we need to press him. Right. 
right we'll do that we don't want him scoring any more goals if we're to get back into this and we have dropped down to 17th now we'll bluff above florentina that means spezia must be winning or drawing i can't see spezia where are, where are spezia they're drawing nil nil okay Mater to Rav Gallier to Fagioli back to Bax Venos best day Fagioli Bax Venos Fagioli best day Bax Venos doing a bit of a moving around here Ladinetti need to oh, and I gave the ball away it was just too workmanlike and it's uh, that's gone out wide that's going out for a kick no best day's kept it in Ladinetti back to the goalkeeper Minelli gets the ball forward can Rav Gallier is nowhere near it and it's come out on this wide base again and they come forward and this is the danger man on this side we need to be closing him down i think we need to put a pressing thing on that was shot over the top right just going to put a, a presser on him because that's what needs to happen opposition it's the guy this this guy out here we need to press him always press show on to his wrong foot Right, see if that does any good. 17th as it is at the minute. Above Palmer. Looking at the other scores. Spezia are drawing 0-0. Palmer are beating Sampdoria by a goal to nil. Which gets them back on equal points to us, but not above us. And Florentina. What are they doing? Florentina are drawing nil nil with Torino. It's okay at the moment, but it won't take a lot. Best day with the corner. Backs van us. It's all clear off the line. Ah, oh, for the moment there, I thought we had got the goal to get us back in it. Faro Bajoli to Meta. Come on, boys. Ball not over the top again, looking for Rav Gallier and didn't find him. But Mate has won it back in midfield. Sabri's through to Rav Gallier. Come on, Rav Gallier. Yes! 23rd goal of the season from Rav Gallier. And at times, he's not really been on the prolific form that he has been. But Mater here, having not got that ball through. Sabri, lovely ball. Worthy assist. And he's taken no mess in there. Rav Gallier gets it in. And that changes the complexion a little bit right now. Spezia. On 35 points as well right what was what's going on here instruction always press for him um man mark i don't need to i've dealt with that i think we have a free kick here i've done that we have a free kick from best day come on best day get it in yes Bax vanos not on his head on his foot put that away and we've gone in front on 45 minutes Faragioli heads it down onto Baxvanos. Baxvanos didn't have time to think about that. It was more of an instinctive on the volley. And, well, I think it tells a story so far anyway. Eight shots, three on target. 51% of the possessions, you know, we've had six shots, five on target, 1.01 XG, 49% of the possession. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. I'm holding on. I hope you are. We'll be back with the second half imminently. Angie, as you come back and join us, Rav Gallier getting us underway to Fagioli. And uh, there is uh, no substitutions at half time. Rav Gallier gets round his man. He's on a mission now. Is he going to score? No, straight into the arms of Johansson, the goalkeeper. Right, quick update. We are on equal points to Spezia. We are three points in front of Palmer. Um, Palmer are beating Sampdoria, but as it stands, they're not going to catch us. Um, we are in the box seat as far as that's concerned, but Spezia are beating Calagri uh, by a goal to nil, which gives them the same amount of points as us. Florentina, as it stands, where are we? Florentina are losing to Torino, which is good news. That is splendid news because as it stands, even with a draw, we will avoid relegation. But let's not go for a draw. Let's go for a win, boys. Let's have another one. Another goal. Put us in front. 
even more. Make this a nice cushion. Two goal cushion. They have a throw in. Sabri is equal to it, but nobody's going to get there. Ladinetti thought about it, but gave up. Clark, come on, boys. Danger ensues here. And the cross in, but it's headed clear. Clark has got it. We are on the counter now. Rav Gallier is there. Clark on his own. Ooh, just wider that up right. Well, if we do go down here, I have to say for sure um, we've not gone out with a whimper. We've tried our utmost best. Sampadoria get a goal back against Palmer now. In fact, Sampadoria have scored twice in quick succession and have put themselves... In fact, I don't think that, that result really matters to us. Florentina, though, look like they've got themselves back into it, or have they? It's the Spezia game. We need goals at Spezia. Spezia, how are they doing? We're looking at the... Sorry to keep stopping and looking, but I think it's important. Uh, we've lost the top of the, the fixtures here somehow. The ones that we want to see, we can't see what is going on. Florentino losing to Torino still. Can't see the Spezia results. 75 minutes. They come back now. Thank you. Spezia still winning. Maybe we ought to turn those off and just rely on what we're doing. San Padro out to Camano. It's in. Ah, oh, Manelli gets there. That was heart in the mouth time. It's a Bax Vanos. Gets it forward to Rav Gallier. Sabri. Fagioli out wide to best day. Best day crosses the ball in. It's a goal. Rav Gallier gets his 24th of the season. 3-1. And I think, I think we have survived. Pavlev is tired. We might have to take him off. We are nearly 80 minutes into the game. And I'm not going to do anything daft here. Rav Gallier gets his head to that. And beats the goalkeeper cushioned header. And well. Wow. Florent it was just as well because Florentina have got themselves back in the game the game against Torino. But as it stands at the minute, that makes a diddly squat amount of uh, of difference. Okay, so Pavlev. Zapella can come on for Pavlev. Jack Clark is tired. To be fair, he's put in a good shift. We'll put Ambrose on that side. Pump fists. Get out and make a difference. It is there to do. They have a throw in. Farrow Bajoli clearing upfield to Rav Gallier. Rav Gallier. He's well, not quite sure what he was doing there. Nobody was running on him. He's... Uh, Bax Vanos wins that ball. Best day. Fagioli. Bax Vanos gets forward to Rav Gallier, who's had a good game. And Sabre, he's in here. Another goal. Oh, that was a bit tame. Another goal then would have definitely finished the game off. Um, Fagioli now is tired, and that could be our final change. 82 minutes into the game. And uh, final change. Bertoganoli's coming on for Fagioli, who... Has played splendidly. And despite whatever the result, if we end up losing this, well, we've really imploded. Uh, best day with a throw in to Sabri. We are in injury time now. Best day, Sabri. Sabri, he's got the ball across. It's in. It's an own goal. An own goal. And it is 4 1. Game over. And we have survived. This is, well, I have to say, I will say it now, um, and I'm going to drop praise. I can't drop praise at the moment, but I have to say, this is we've played probably some of the best football. Goalkeeper missed that, and uh, Cybor put it into his own net with Ambrose lurking behind him. He couldn't really leave it, to be fair. Um, we have played some of our best football in these last four game, four or five games or so, and I think it's really come down to the fact that um, that well, I don't know what the fact is really. It, it, it's come down to those change in formation. Maybe we should have done it earlier, saved ourselves the heartache that we've had, and we have survived. 
So what a way to end the series. Surviving in Saria A. Get a second season and a second bite of the cherry. That was tremendous. Look at this second half. Look at look at the XG in the second half. We just went out there and did it. Uh, they had 11 shots, only three on target, or of which they scored one of them. 0.54 and 48% of the possession against our 17 shots, 10 of which were on target. 2.19, 52% possession. Rav Gallier and Baxvenos getting the goals and Saibora um, getting the own goal. And that is how our season finished. Let's have a look at the final bits. Let's just do this bit. Well done, lads. Um, I'm going to do... That was really special, lads. Nobody gave us a chance. You played my necessarily. Congratulations. And I think Rav Gallier... Um, I'm very happy. We are delighted with your performance. It came at the right time. Sabri, I'm pleased with your performance. Jack Clark... Um, pleased with your performance out there today. Both demotivated. Fagio, delighted with them. I'll give up. Really give up because giving them praise has obviously done no good. Uh, how relieved she's going to place in the top flight for another season. I'm absolutely delighted. Whatever's. Um, it was labelled a huge match for Canada. your team. Certainly lived up to pretty much brilliant. You must be delighted with the result. Brilliant feeling. That is it. And. Spezia doing us no favours, uh, but Florentina in the end getting a 1-1 draw with Torino. Had we drawn that match, I think we would have been all right because Florentina were below us, I think, on points as it is. So a win anyway. It's not even coming to, to that sort of scenario of what may have been and all the rest. Um, that is how it's ended. Let's have a final look at the table then. Uh, Crotone get relegated with Parma and Florentina. Spezia and Catana survive on this occasion. Uh, Milan win for a second season in a row. Roma, Inter and Juventus will be playing in the Champions League. Lazio, Atalanta and Sozzulo, well, uh Sorry, Lazio and Atalanta playing in the Europa League. And Sozzulo are playing in the new Europa Conference League. Um, so that's where it is. And, uh, well, we survived. We survived. What an end to the series. Oh. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. And what a good end to the season. Uh, if you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and hit the notification button. Keep you up to date with all future goings on here on this channel, uh, which will be FM22 when it is released. We are waiting. We are baited breath. It's sometime in the next week, we think. Um, uh, my other sister series, To Be A Legend, is in its final season. Um, if you are missing this particular series, then go over and have a look at that. Um, we are running uh, in the Premiership for the second season with uh, Charlton. So go and have a look at that. That's uh, coming to a culmination um, very, very shortly. Um, and we'll move aside next week in uh, anticipation of the uh, beta uh, dropping at some point. Uh, new episodes of this, well, they aren't anymore, I'm afraid. That is it. Um, if you want to keep up to date what's happening with this channel, then you need to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. That will keep you in the loop of all the news things that are happening and coming out when they come out and all the rest of it. Thank you for watching this series. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you uh, if you're coming back to it um, and you've you've watched it later in the uh, in the run and uh, you just enjoyed it, please give me those thumbs up. Please make some comments and all the rest of it. And look out for my FM22 series as they are released. Till next time, whichever series, whichever part you're watching, I will bid you a fond farewell. Thank you for watching. And I'm glad we survived. Till next time, goodbye. <laughs>